<clears throat> What's up, everybody? This is John coming at you from Call Wheeler Motors once again. And today we're just going to do a quick reveal of what we're doing back to the bike. See so how we're taking this thing apart and messing with it again. But uh, I did change my uh, sprocket from the um, EPR Race sprocket uh, 47 tooth back to the 48 tooth that comes stock on the Electro Motion Escape, which is the trail bike that I have here. So we'll see what happens. We'll see. How the performance I'm used to, we'll see how that changes. I might get a little bit more top end, but I still have the grip from those uh, IRC Kikota tires. And I put that sprocket from the race back on the race. So we got the 57 tooth sprocket back on the trail, the trials bike. Yeah. But why is this on the side and what, what am I doing? So today I'm going to show you a drivetrain video. Just a little example of the guts and what really makes the electric motion um, line of bikes superior as far as quality to a lot of other e-bikes out there and uh, why they've been around for 10 years and continue to make very high quality products. So check it out. So this is the electric motion escape. We're going to go into this first and this is the basic platform here for all or well, three bikes in their lineup. So you have the electric motion escape which is here. And then you also have the Electric Motion E Pure line, which is their full trials bike. Um, but the light and the sport version all have this platform here. And like I mentioned before, billet aluminum machining for the components. So we're talking about solid. This right here, billet aluminum as well. And as you can see, you know, we have some little dings. I'm sure you've seen some of the videos where, uh, you know, the ride didn't go exactly to plan and I didn't make the section. But take a look at this, guys. Oh, yeah. By the way, completely dry. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen our submarine video of it. Uh, if, you, if you're not, check out our Instagram. And uh, you can take a look at the previous video where this thing was up to here in water. So opening this up, not one, uh, not one example of moisture being in there. So that means this seal was very good. That's a plus. Um, <clears throat> did have to lube up the bearings uh, just a little bit. It was squeaking a bit, so we just you know regular maintenance. We lubed that up, but check this out. Look, we have a belt drive here, and this is a belt drive. Like I said, for the Escape, for the EPR Sport, and the EPR Light. This is the system you're gonna get, and you see this shaft right here. What this is for is that you can adapt this to add a flywheel to any one of those three models. It doesn't come standard, but you can put it on. And I believe after riding um, this bike with a different gearing, you know, it changes it a bit, but it doesn't make it as responsive as our E-Pure race. And we'll, when we open that, we'll see why as well. But you can adapt the flywheel to this, give it more, tor uh, more low end torque. And I believe it will make your response just when you hit the throttle and make it that much more instant. So that is an option for that. And you basically just screw it on and you fix it on. And this cover is very thick to accept that uh, flywheel already. So you will not have to buy a new cover. You can just use the existing cover and it's already set up for that. All right. So moving over to our Electric Motion E-Pure race model. Our race model here. So this is something that... I was actually surprised about um, we did a couple of demo rides yesterday with some much more experienced trials guys and they love this real clutch I mean they loved it um, some of the people who've demoed it before and especially me you know I've, I've said it in the videos like I, I never use the clutch but then again um, I, I personally am definitely not at that level um, <laughs> almost to know the difference but they were using it in soft um, technical terrain where grip was minimum because of like some powdery red dirt that we have here in Hawaii and that really helped for them to slip the clutch um and I haven't ridden that in that condition so it was good to see them using it okay enough talk let's just take this off so this is our clutch cover once again billet aluminum billet aluminum back and this base here is the only one that comes on this bike which is the EPR race at the top of the line trials bike and as you can see there is this doesn't look 
nearly the same as that, right? So what this is, is this is a flywheel weight. And this is an option for all the bikes, but the flywheel weight does come uh, included with the E-Pure e Race model. And as you can see, it's an adjustable plate. They have um, three different plates in here, the main hub, and then two plates stacked on top of that. You can also adjust that if you want a little bit less weight, if you want uh, to change the response and change uh, the way it feels, you can do that. You can take off these bolts here, and then take off one plate, put the bolts back, and you're good to go. Okay, that's adjustable. Number two, the, uh, let me shine a light in here, it's a little hard to see, but, oh, don't do that. There you go. You see that gear in there? So number one, there's a drive gear right in there. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus on you. Here you go. There's a drive gear in there. And that is what drives, it takes the place of that drive belt, like in the escape. So that drive gear, because, and you see right behind those things, there are three clutch plates. And like I said, guys, it's a real clutch. It's not an electronic clutch. It's not a gimmick. It's a real clutch um, plate. I'll put a picture in the. Uh, I'll put a picture in the uh, um, the Instagram post so you can actually see it. It's kind of hard to focus with all this light, but in the back that gear. So you have a gear to gear contact. So gear here, main gear in the back that runs to this sprocket on the outside. And, you know, that's the quality that you're buying, um, the machining. Because you have a clutch and because you, you're able to release the clutch, you know, while the motor is spooling up to get that real big, you know, pop and jump um, for whatever obstacles you want to um, overcome, that gear needs to be there to make it solid. And those clutch plates, um, I did jump the gun, I guess, in another video. I think I was saying, oh, there's no oil. Uh, I lied. So, for the record, I was wrong. There is a little bit of oil in there because we have those clutch plates in play to reduce the friction of the slipping, just like a normal bike clutch. So, hey, you know, um, kill me if you want. But, yeah, there's, uh, there are, is a little bit of oil and there is a bit of maintenance, which I did read the, uh, the manual after opening this and it shows how much oil to replace it with and what kind of oil. Standard stuff. Nothing you can't get at your regular motorcycle shop. It's not some fancy French oil that they use. Maybe it's olive oil. Not too sure. But in any case, there you go, guys. Check it out. I mean, rewatch this video. This thing is crazy. I mean... The design is, is simple, yet somewhat complicated. It's simple when you look at it, but it's complicated because there's really nothing else out there like this. Um, I believe, uh, I think Gas Gas might make... Uh, Gas Gas and Yamaha have a similar clutch system in their bikes, a hydraulic clutch system. However, Gas Gas, I believe, does have a transmission which um, adds weight to the bike and, you know, with any electric product you don't necessarily want as you want as little bit of weight as possible the less moving parts better and yamaha is not even in production yet i believe it's still a concept so being that uh, i think gas gas is on able to be purchased on a consumer level makes them the only other one but you're not getting the simplicity you're not getting the quality um like this because you know these guys only make electric bikes and that's all they do you know so all right thanks uh thanks for tuning in like i said we at call wheeler motors want to keep you up to date on what electric motion is doing what you can do with electric motion and uh not only that but how they do it you know like videos like this so we hope that we sparked your interest a bit um we want to give you all the information possible to let you know to inform you um, to, to make you decide, you know, to let you make that decision if you want to try an electric bike, if electric bikes are even for you, if you, um, if you think this is a gimmick, if you think this is a game or a toy, you know, um, yeah, we'll make, you can make up your mind for yourself, but until then, check out the video. Thanks for following us on YouTube.
at Cartwheeler Motors and uh, subscribe to us and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Till next time, everybody, stay safe and ride aloha.